Hey everyone, welcome to the second session of pair of linear equations. In the last session of pair of linear equations, we have learnt what are basic terminologies used in this concept and we have also learnt what are intersecting lines. And now, in this session, we are going to learn about coincident pair of linear equations. The word coincident came from coincidence and meaning of coincidence is it is a condition that similar things happening at the same point of time. So why this term coincident used for pair of linear equations? Let's understand this using an example. Let's take one linear equation say 3x plus 4y equals to 6 and we will draw a straight line for this linear equation on the graph and we know how to do it. We have learned that in the last session. So we require minimum two sets of values for x and y and those values should satisfy this equation that is if I put on the left hand side I should get the right hand side value. So let's start with value of x as 2 so it has to be multiplied by 3 because it is 3x so 3 2 is 6 then y has to be 0 so that I'll get right hand side as 6. So I got the first set of values for x and y that is x is 2 y is 0. So let's find second set of values. Uh, let's take this time a negative 2 for x. So it will be 3 into minus 2 that is minus 6. Then y has to be 3 so that I'll get 6. So I got value for x as minus 2 and y is 3. So now we have two sets of values for x and y for the equation 3x plus 4y equals to 6. So let's plot these points on the graph and get the straight line for this equation. Our equation is 3x plus 4y equals to 6 and the first set of values for x and y is x is 2, y is 0. Since y is 0, the point lies on x axis. And the second set of x and y, x is minus 2 on the negative side of the x axis and y is 3. The point is over here. So let's join them. We are getting a straight line for the equation 3x plus 4y equals to 6 since it is a linear equation. Let's take one more equation 6x plus 8y equals to 12. We will repeat the same process which we have done for this part. We have to get minimum two sets of values for x and y so that we can draw a line on the graph. And those values has to satisfy this equation that is if I put on the left hand side I should get right hand side value as 12. So let's start with any random value let's say x is 0 then 6 is multiplied with 0 since it is 6x then y has to be 1.5 so that I'll get 12 on the right hand side so the first set of values for x and y is x is 0 and y is 1.5 now let's go for second set this time let's take value of x as 6 so it is multiplied with 6 6 into 6 36 then y has to be minus 3 so that right hand side becomes 12 so my second set of values for this equation is x is 6 and y is minus 3 so let's use these two points for drawing a graph for the equation 6x plus 8y equals to 12 here is the graph here you can see there is already a line for the equation 3x plus 4y equals to 6 now we have to draw a line for 6x plus 8y equals to 12 so here is the first set of values for x and y x is 0 y is 1.5 since x is 0 this point lies on y axis at 1.5 the second set is x is 6 y is minus 3 so x is 6 y is minus 3 that is on negative side of y axis the point is over here now let's join these two points we have got a straight line for the equation 6x plus 8y equals to 12 now you can see that these two equations are giving the same line we should have got two different lines for different equations but here the two lines are merged and we got the same line for both the equations. Such linear equations are called as coincident linear equations. In such situations all the points on the lines are common to each other and these common points we cannot count since there are infinite number of common points and you must know that common points are solutions so we can say that we have infinite number of solutions. So in conclusion we can say that in case of coincident pair of linear equations we get infinite number of solutions that is infinite number of common points and since we got solution for these two linear equations we can say that these two linear equations are consistent linear equations. 
they are also called as dependent linear equation so now let's understand why they are called as dependent pair of linear equations we are having these two equations let's consider one by one to understand this concept let's start with equation number 1 let's multiply this whole equation number 1 by 2 on both sides we get 2 3s are 6x plus 2 4s are 8y equals to 12 this is nothing but equation number 2 they both are same now let's consider equation number 2 and let's divide this equation on both sides by 2 so this two divides both the terms when it divides 6x we get 3x when it divides 8y we get 4y when 12 divided by 2 we get 6 This is same as equation number one. Now we understand that if equation one is not there, we won't get equation number two. That is same as this. And if equation two is not there, we won't get equation number one. That is same as this. By this we understand that these two equations are dependent on each other. Therefore, they are called as dependent pair of linear equations. So in this session we have learnt. Complete course for Grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.